my lovelies just come back with this post review this is a home fun 30 by 30 oh i'm thinking i think it was about five six pounds should have kept that detail but i can't remember it wasn't much so yeah so i've done it so i'm really really pleased with it if anybody's been following my whip and chats on it, they'll know the only complaint I really had is some of the symbols, um, which was O and Q, which were same in the colour and in... I don't know if I can show you. i bend it and show you. Can you see that? The O and the Q. And all... Can you see? You can hardly see the difference. There's a little tiny line there. And that's the difference. And they were side by side. And then down here, the P and the R, they're the same. And all you've got is the line of the R. And that was this similar. It was all right if they were separated, but if they were next to each other or you'd done some dark colours around it, it was hard to see. And the only other one with a little bit of difficulty was the E and the F. You can see there that they're very similar as well. And they're next to each other because they're in in that bit there and up there. So um, that was my only fault with the whole canvas. Very sticky. Drills went down no problem. So it hasn't taken me long at all. I've whizzed through this one. Absolutely love doing it. The only trash I had... Um, was that little bit and some of that was hitchhikers see there's a couple of square ones in the black that came see there and a few with a few knobbly bits on it and some ones that didn't want to separate but so i'm really pleased with that bit of, bit of uh, trash not much and then the diamonds, well, there was no hope of me running out of any. Can you see them all? They're just, you know, even ones that only, they were still 50 or more of each colour. Some have got 100 or more in them, but there is plenty. You know, no chance. So that one was the main colour that I had. And you can see there's still absolutely heaps left. So I'm really chuffed with that. I'm going to stick them back in this little... This is my basket that I use to do it. Somebody asked, and I forgot who it was that asked where I got this. Pound shop. A pound. Or it could have been two of these for a pound. But it was definitely one of these cheapy, cheapy pound shops. I think it's for a bathroom or something. I can't remember which section I got it from. But I thought it's ideal because it's ideal for these little baggies for the width. Because they fit in there perfect luck. And like this one's got what? How many colours? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36 colours. So these have got 36 colours in them. I know there's a couple of smaller bags in there. But that's with that. And when it was the bags were full, it still had about that much room. So you could probably get 40 colours in here. I know at the moment it's because they're, they're near enough empty. I mean, if you push them up, they're up there because they're nearly empty. But when I filled the bags, I think I was at about that much space. So, but I like it. I mean, I haven't got any of them pots, but that does me. So, yeah. As I say, that's the only fault I had was the symbols. I have... Um, contacted home fun official site I got this it's an Aliexpress site um, I only contacted them to be truthful this morning because I kept forgetting so when I finished it I contacted them um, it was easy to contact I just went on Aliexpress went on the home page for home fun went down to where it says store contact contacted them sent them a little email they answered me back within within minutes um to say yes because all i said was you know name the, the symbols explained what the problem was and what problem i had with it 
you know, just for their reference. Um, they might want to let whoever made the, the canvas um, transfers it into the to, to the numbers and letters. Might want to th rethink how they did it. Um, they were brilliant. They were answered me within two minutes. Um, said yeah. They will investigate that. Um, thanks for letting them know. And could I send the canvas number of this one over to them? And then they would get back to me with um, whatever they, I suppose, decide. I don't know. They just said they'll let me know. So I'm waiting for that to hear back off them. I mean, I'm not really concerned as such that if they do or don't. But I thought if I, I can't generally complain about something or say there's something wrong with the canvas if I'm not willing to contact the seller and let them know because i think if you don't let them know how are they to know that what they're doing is causing problems because if nobody complained they'd carry on doing the same thing and we'd continually have the same problem so i think if i just complain nicely you don't have to be nasty about it and i sent them a nice little note um about it and i've done it before with other other problems that i've had with canvases be polite but stick to the facts, tell them what's happened and hopefully, you know, they'll correct the mistake for, f for future use. So if you go back to them and you have another canvas, you won't come across the same problem. Well, that's the way I look at it anyway. So, yeah, but I would recommend the only thing I would. I mean, it looks fantastic in the camera. It's not as clear as it's looking in the camera. I've got to admit eye to eye, even when it's on the wall, it's not quite as clear. So I would go. If I'm truthful, I'd probably go 50 by 50 or bigger on this one, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, I love it. Absolutely love it. The kids love it. Going to get it framed. It's going in my front room at Christmas. You know, it will come out every Christmas because I absolutely worship it. I think, well, not worship it, but you know what I mean. Absolutely thrilled to bits with it. But I do wish now I'd gone slightly bigger. I think it would be a really, really impressive, nice piece to have but apart from that as i say you know and for the money you know what can you ask and it is round oh that was the only other thing about the rounds yeah i nearly forgot is training wheels some people like them some people don't i'm not keen on them for the simple reason is some of the diamonds i don't know if you can see you can't really see on camera can you see no, you can't. But some of the, the diamonds are slightly smaller than the, the training wheels. But that's only if you look up close. If you stand back, you can't, you, you don't notice it at all. But if you're a bit OCD or things like that bother you, that might bother you. You know, especially in the lighter colours. You can't notice it so much in the darker colours, but you can in the lighter colours notice that, you know, some of the training wheels. And also, if you're like me and haven't got it in perfectly spot on again that can show them but again it's preference what you like but i said on oh, the overall put it up on the wall nobody's going to know unless you tell them and if they complained well then they'd be choo -choo, out the door <laughs> so yeah so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed that little post review i thought i'd just give you on, on what it was like um thanks for all the new subscribers i really really do appreciate it it means a lot and i do appreciate the ones that stick around and they comment and they they interact with the channel i absolutely love that so keep that going please because it makes my day reading the comments and answering them so if you haven't subscribed and you fancy it there's a little subscribe button under there there's a little bell by the side of it to let you know if i go live which is every week and um, i try and post a couple of times a week if i can but at least once or twice a week. Um, comments down below. There's also, if you don't want to write down there and just want a private chat, all my details and everything about me is down below. So take care, look after yourselves, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.